founded uh, four years ago. We really liked having lights in the camp. That's really the, the, most, the two most important things are lights and having some kind of music available so we can feel like this is an extension of our own homes. We really dislike having a generator, and a generator is quite inefficient for this purpose because we require small amounts of power. We don't like the idea that we've come to the desert to burn gas so that we can keep our lights on. So we borrowed the panel, we purchased the charge controller, we got some uh, reconditioned deep cycle batteries. These are batteries that have already been used. Manual dual axis tracking system for our photovoltaic system. It's pretty low tech. It involves a series of milk crates um, and we rotate the panels throughout the day to maximize the harnessing of the sun's energy. If you shade even a portion of the panel, it actually dramatically reduces the power output. And we have here a digital meter, so you can see actually how much power is coming off of the panels at any moment in time. And you can see even just putting your hands over a small piece of it dramatically reduces the output. Here, you get really good coverage. You can get the sun from the moment it rises pretty much to the moment it sets. This device measures at any one point how many watts are being drawn. We have eight watts on the system, which is very little. I mean, we're running almost nothing, probably just a few devices on standby. This is running directly off the sun. It's coming directly off the panels through the inverter and right here to charge this laptop. We are sitting on top of a Mercedes, a early 80s a diesel vehicle. We retrofitted it so that it could burn vegetable oil. We filtered a whole bunch of vegetable oil, planning on uh, you know, being able to uh, burn that instead of petroleum out here. I think we came out with 200 gallons of vegetable oil, and we found that last night we only burned four <laughs> gallons, so we, we have a lot of extra. Our whole thing is waste vegetable oil, turning something that may have ended up in the landfill and turning it into um, something useful. And so it just seemed like a logical step to sell the gasser and commit <laughs> And this is snow cone solar. Started as a snow cone camp, and then we brought out a, a rig so you know we can run our kitchen or refrigerators and snow cones off of that. We had a couple projects going on, and we were like, "Wow, it's really fun to work with artists." So, let's see if we get power the artists. We said, you know, why don't we do a TV charging station? That's something in our own political lives that we're very interested in. What a great form to try and encourage people to bring electric vehicles and you know here charge off the sun. At full capacity, this is a 10,000 watt solar array, and we rented these forklift batteries so that we could just be running power constantly. Actually, we've been trying to like get rid of everyone's generator in our vicinity. We're like, generators over there, let's see what they're powering, let's see if we can run power to them. They're making sushi, and they were going to turn on a generator for, you know, an hour to boil some rice and have some power. <laughs>